In question 8, we're told figure 1 shows a sketch of a curve with equation y equals f of x, where f of x is equal to the quantity x plus 3 all squared multiplied by the quantity x minus 1, where x is a real number. The curve crosses the x-axis at 1, 0, touches it at minus 3, 0, and crosses the y-axis at 0, minus 9. In part A, it says in the space below, sketch the curve C with equation y equals f of x plus 2 and state the coordinates of the point where the curve C meets the x-axis. The question carries three marks. All I'm going to do is a quick sketch here. We're looking now at a horizontal translation of negative two units in the x-direction. So if I looked at this as a vector, I could write this as minus 2, 0. So all we're going to do is pick up now the 1 and the minus 3 and move those to the left by 2 units. So if I do that, I'm going to have this point just here, which will be minus 1, and then this point just here, which is going to be minus 5. There's going to be no alteration in the shape of the graph. All we're going to do is a quick sketch, and it will look something like so. So we end up now with y is equal to the f, of x plus 2. We're asked to write down now the point where the curve meets the coordinate axis, so we'll have minus 5 comma 0 and we'll have minus 1 comma 0. So that's now where it crosses the x axis. So three marks in total for part A. In part B we're asked to write down an equation of the curve C. We're simply now going to add 2 to each of these so we can say that f of x plus 2 will be equal now to x plus 5 all squared multiplied by x plus 1. You can, of course, simply look at the graph. All I've done is added 2 to each of these brackets. So this is an equation. In part C, it says use your answer to part B to find the coordinates of a point where the curve C meets the y-axis. The question carries two marks. It will meet the y-axis when x is equal to zero. So what we can say then is simply subbing this in, y will be equal to zero plus five, which we need to square, and then we'll have zero plus one. So in the first bracket, we will have now y will be equal to 25. In the second bracket, we're gonna have one, that's going to give me a y coordinate of 25, so we can say 0, 25. We simply sub the value x is equal to 0 into now our curve, and we found the point of intersection with the y-axis.